So I'm going to skip straight past the eyebrows but I'm just filling them in using the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate and I'm spritzing my face with the Freedom Primer Water. I love this stuff and I've just finished a bottle of it. It's a dupe of the Smashbox Primer Water and I love it, it's amazing. I'm going with my foundation, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in medium beige for oily skin. I'm just going to buff this into the skin using a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Now onto the eyes. I'm priming them using Max Painsley Paint Pot, an oldie but a goodie. I haven't used this in a while to be honest and I don't know why I ever stopped using it. So I'm just applying that with a flat synthetic brush all over my lid and ready for those shadows. I'm going to set that into place using some pressed powder just so all the eyeshadows don't cling in the wrong places. Once this is done, I'm going in with a piece of sellotape on the outer corner of my eye. So then we apply the shadows later on, it creates a really nice defined edge without a lot of effort in making that sharp defined edge and without ruining our foundation either. So I'm just buffing in a kind of transition shade into the crease. This is similar to like my Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie in the sense that it's the first transition colour that I'm laying down. Then I'm deepening that up with a sort of slightly darker transition colour. Just tipping my brush in a downwards angle to really work it into that socket of the eye and then buffing up towards the brow bone. This is an essential step of any makeup look that you want to have a nice diffused edge to. It just makes everything a lot more seamless and easy to work with. Then I'm going in with the warm, ready brown, beautiful shade from the palette. I love this shade, it's so pigmented. It's called Female Rebel. It's from the Powder and Pandonium palette. I hope I'm not butchering the name. So I'm going in with a Zoeva blending brush into the crease of my eye, making sure to focus the majority of it on the outer corner. Just really buffing that into the crease. No major sort of intricate designs here. I'm just playing with the shadows. So I really wanted to use this palette in a makeup tutorial. I'm going to buff over that using a fluffy brush, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the black from the palette very, very lightly at first because I didn't really know how much I wanted to apply. Just applying it in the outer corners of the eye, and then I decided to amp up the drama and add a lot more than before, just adding extra as I go along so it doesn't go too crazy too quickly. Once this is all done, I, then I took the same gorgeous ready brown colour and just buffed out the extra parts of the shadow, like on the outside of it, if that makes sense, just to kind of give it a nice warm blend, if you will. And then I'm taking Max um, Paint Pot in Constructivist and applying this as a base to my lid because I didn't know how pigmented the shadows would be and having a sticky base underneath always makes things look a lot nicer. So once that has been applied with my flat synthetic brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply the gorgeous copper shade from the Powder and Pandomium palette. I really hope I'm not butchering this name, but it's very hard to say. Um, so yeah, onto the shadows. I'm spritzing my MAC 242 brush with a bit of Fix Plus, and then just dampening the colour called Con Conknack? Conknack? I I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's beautiful. It really reminds me of MAC's Copper Sparkle Pigment, which is one of my all-time favourite pigments from MAC. It's absolutely beautiful, really, really pigmented, and gives a super metallic look when applied with Fix Plus. I'm applying some gel liner. This is the Maybelline Gel Liner on a thin Stargazer Artist Brush. I'm going to be applying heavy lashes anyway, so it doesn't really matter how too perfect the liner is, because the lashes are going to be covering most of the liner up. Peel off that tape to reveal that gorgeous sharp edge to the eye. I love that bit, I just, it's so satisfying. I'm cleaning up the edges because this side was slightly wonky. So I'm just cleaning it up with some concealer and then I'm going to head and colour correct the inside part of my eye, just the slightly pinky toned concealer because that part of my eye tends to get a little bit blue. And then just buffing this in using a MAC 217 brush. Once that's all buffed in, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm just using the Avon Lash Curlers, nothing too snazzy. And then applying some mascara. I'm applying the Benefit Their Real Mascara just to give it a nice lengthen and darken my lashes in prep for the falsies. These are lovable lashes, Dainty Daisy. I love these lashes. How pretty are these? Then for the inner waterline, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do, but I decided to add a little bit of a pop of purple. This purple eyeliner is one from a brand called Actiderm. It's a sales-based company, and I really, really like this liner. I really like it. It lasted a long time on me. The only thing I will say is it is a bit hard, so if you've got sensitive eyes, probably best to try and warm it up a little bit before applying it. 
Then I took the black shade from the palette and just went under my lower lash line on the outer corner to deepen things up a bit. I kind of skipped past the concealer bit of this tutorial because there's a lot of makeup on my face in this tutorial and I figured you might get a bit bored. So for contouring I just took a cream colour from the Crown Brush Contour Palette on a Real Techniques foundation brush. This is the one that comes with the cool collection. I find it really good for contouring. It's just the perfect shape. You can get into those little places you want to contour. So I like to contour around my forehead, under my cheekbone, a little bit under my lip, a lot under my jawbone where I've got that double chin going on, um, down the sides of my nose and a little bit across as well. Kind of looks like a penis but it will look nice afterwards. <laughs> Then after that, just want to blend everything out and I'm applying this um, Illuminating Concealer from Avon. This is one shade too dark, but I'm going to work with it and you'll see what happens. So I'm applying this as kind of like a concealer. And over top of it, before I blend everything out, I'm applying the lighter shade from the Freedom Concealer Palette. This is the one I usually use for my eyebrows to define them. And then once you blend everything out, it'll create this really seamless look um, and really flawless and airbrush. It just looks so nice. This is blending out um, with my Real Techniques Real Good Complexion Sponge. I was about to call it a beauty blender, but that's not what it is. Um, so just buffing this out with a damp Real Techniques Real Good Complexion Sponge. And once this is done, I wanted a really, really strong highlight. So I decided to put a cream highlight underneath all of the powders. This is from the Sleek oh my god what's it called I don't know what it's called but I will link it down below um, it's the cream um, shade from this sleek highlighting palette it is absolutely beautiful I think it's called solstice now it's coming to mind once that's applied to the cheekbones I'm just going to buff this out using my fingertips and a little bit of the sponge as well then once that's all done you want to set everything into place using powder I for one am quite oily so I like to set everything in place even if I've got cream highlight on it will still show through the powder and I like to put extra highlight on top it is a lot of makeup it's not necessary I know but I enjoy putting it on so you could always alter this if you don't like to wear this much makeup then onto bronzer I'm taking the NYX matte bronzer in medium which is my go to ride or die favourite on my powder and pandomium brush I don't think they actually have names but it's absolutely gorgeous I love this brush so so nice so nice <laughs> um, and then under the eyes I'm taking the banana shade from the Anastasia contour kit I use this in every tutorial because I feel like it's like the beauty powder it just makes my skin look amazing I apply it under my eyes on my forehead down the sides of my nose then I contoured using the brush that comes with the benefit palettes the um, Hula bronzer brush it went a little bit strong at first as you can see so I'm kind of just buffing this out using the same brush I applied the banana powder with hoping it would kind of blend it out a little bit then for blush I took the orange shade from the Sleek Lace Blush Palette, a little bit on the two of my cheekbones and decided to add a pop of highlight to the inner corner of my eye. I applied a creamy gold eyeliner pencil from Primark actually um, to the inner corners of my eye as a sticky base and applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator to the inner corner of my eye using the smudgy brush that comes on the end of the Primark eyeliner. I also applied a little bit of this to my brow bone and applied some mascara just to finish off the whole eye look. I kind of work in weird steps when I do my makeup, nothing is ever in any logical order but that's just how I roll. That's how I get creative, it's how I work. <laughs> um, and then onto lips, I'm taking the MAC Spice Lip Liner. I love this lip liner, it's a recent purchase for me, probably about a month ago and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cleaning up the edges uses a concealer. Ooh using some concealer. I don't know how what happened to my words just then. Then I'm taking the Sleek Lip Palette in Ballet and taking the brown shade from that and applying this all over my lips. It's a nice kind of mixture between like a normal lipstick and a matte. It's not too matte, it's not too glossy, it's just a perfect combination. Then I'm applying a lot of highlight. This is the So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this stuff so much and I'll just keep packing it on. Keep packing it on. This is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.